If we inquire about attachment and detachment, our likes and dislikes, we find they exist only in thinking. How many times you think of your nanny now? You don't have time. You're already exhausted. <laughs> Every, Every now, now and then, then but, but not, 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 not a lot. lot. So even if you remember, you remember her personality. Maybe she is good. I met a couple of times with her, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But it has nothing to do with an attachment. We meet everyone. Yeah. yeah. But we are not attached. So that attachment or detachment, sometimes sometime it happens, you know, that we, like, we dislike someone in a, uh, in a family. But now we cannot get rid of that guy or girl because they are living with us. We have no choice. So that is also an attachment. Because every now and then we, the moment we see him, he is, we see him or her, uh, the mind says, mind becomes crazy. And sometimes when we are attached, the same mind becomes crazy. So you're learning a great lesson at this young age, my young friend. Attachment and detachment do not exist. Can I give you a practical example mm -hmm. in your life? A couple of weeks ago, you had an attachment with your dad and the mom. You were upset. Your mind was thinking, Oh, I'm sad. Now that sadness is gone. No, no, I have it. You see that. Understand, you are right. I have a responsibility towards you as a teacher. So I am related to you. I have a relationship with you and you have a relationship with me. Clear? Yeah. yeah. We don't have an attachment. We respect each other. We care each other. You listen. You, uh, we exchange our thoughts. We exchange our knowledge. So this relationship is based on affection, with the care, with the respect. An attachment and detachment that do not exist is based on. Tell me. Based on emotional dependence. It is based on delusion. It is based on illusion. The moment you get upset, the moment, the moment you get upset, whether you get upset, if I say you become sad, you react, it is because of emotional dependence that do not exist, that do not exist, but, but it exists in appearance, it exists in delusion. Do you remember what I, what, how I defined the delusion, the false? The moment you forget that, you will have a problem of sadness. I what I false false means that it appears to exist, but it does not. Your mind says, "Give me an example." Do you know the example I told many a times? Um. Why you forget? Blueness of the sky. The sky is not blue. Um, 
Another example, water in the mirage. The water is not there in the mirage. The yeah. sand creates a delusion which appears as a water, but water is not there. Same way the sadness, upset, are not there, but it appears. What appears, what appears, remember this, what appears to exist, you cannot create it because it does not exist. Did you understand this point? Mm -hmm. What appears to exist, you cannot create it because it does not exist. You understood? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now show me your sadness. You uh, cannot fake it. You cannot do it. Yeah. yeah. And even if you show me your sadness, it will become a play. You are not sad in internally. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? But if I say, you know, keep a smile on the face, so you will smile smile and happiness and the joy are natural. Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. So going back to your nanny, yeah. nanny, I, I talked to her. She was very soft and gentle. I, I found. So when anyone is soft and gentle, we should respect, we should care. But we should not be attached. Whether it's a dad and a mom or whether it's anyone. We should love, but we should not be attached. Are you understanding? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's very important to, to what? To go a little deeper into when we have already started this topic so we should, uh, we should, uh, we should think of in detail and understand attachment and love. Difference between the attachment and the love. So when we are 100% clear in our head, means in our intellect, then instantly, the moment we are sad or upset, we, we start analyze we, in our head. And when you start analyzing in your head, the mind will become clear. And when the mind becomes clear, the joy returns in your life. It should not take so much of time. Take an example of the nanny, you return, you went to the Uta and then, uh, then your mind was thinking, I'm missing nanny, I'm missing nanny. And the nanny was missing her soulmate. <laughs> there is a story, you have to write that story and send it to me. It's a great lesson. There was a king by the name. You see my crazy mind also. Brotherhood, yes. 
name of that king was Bhratar Hari. She had a lovely wife. One day, a master came to his kingdom. The master offered him a magic apple. And that magic apple, whosoever eats, will remain young. Her body will not, the body will not grow older. So there were many practices in yoga and the tantra also, uh, which helps us to reach to that state. Anyhow, so when, uh, master, when the master left the kingdom, the, the king started thinking to whom I should give this apple. So he was deeply attached to his wife, lovely wife, beautiful wife. So he gave that apple to his wife. So the wife was in love with a staple head. Do you know staple head? Where the horses yeah. live. Mm -hmm. So because you know that staple head was teaching horse riding to the queen. So, and the queen mm -hmm. was in love with the staple head. So she gave the apple to the staple head. <laughs> we are understanding what, by this story what we are understanding the emotional dependence emotional bondage, how it destroys our life. So the staple head used to love the neighbor's wife. So he accepted the apple and gave it to the neighbor's wife. Any form of emotional bondage will cause endless suffering in your life. No one else causes any suffering. Now you know, must be, she must have forgotten in love with her soulmate. Anyhow, so neighbor's wife had a real love for the king. Real love means there is no attachment, it's a care because she always thought that you look at this king, you know, who takes care of uh, his, its citizens. So uh, he travels even in the night and wants to know how far So can you think what uh, what uh, she did with an apple? Neighbor's wife got an apple. Um, she went to the king. From where the apple started? <laughs> my master, my king, you are such a great king. And I adore you, I respect you, I care you. And my, 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 can I say honey? Yes, my, the person who loves me gave me this apple and uh, he told me that if I eat, I will remain young, I will live longer and uh, free from all the illnesses. That was the real love. He left the apple and she went away. Now, can you, can you imagine what should have happened to the king? <laughs> because he recognized the apple. <laughs> you 
This is going to be a great lesson today. Emotional dependence is the cause of being upset, is the cause of anxiety, is the cause of duality, is the cause of delusion, is the cause of stress, is the cause of Uh, so what happened? What happened to the king now? King recognized the apple. <laughs> he recognized the apple. He went into his room. He started contemplating. He uh, he asked his secret agency, secret agents, to find out. Uh, to spy on the queen to find out what happened to this apple and how this apple went to the neighbor's wife. After a few days, those secret agents told the entire story. The apple you gave to the wife, the queen, queen gave it to the staple head, the staple head gave it to the neighbor's wife, and the neighbor's wife returned that apple to you. Just imagine what action the king should have taken against the queen. We are learning Eastern wisdom, so you have to think in terms of the Eastern wisdom, not in terms of, uh, I divorce you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think what he should have done. <laughs> that um. is what we should do in our life. <laughs> to remain happy. Tell me, think. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I know you are young, but you are intelligent, so I'm pushing your mind to think. Think mm -hmm. what he should have done. Ah, <sighs> yes. Yeah. No? He contemplated. He was frustrated. And then he started thinking. And he wrote a... He became... I tell you, I'm going to tell you. Uh, before I tell you that he became a great master, that is why I refer to him. Brother Hari Shatakam. He wrote three books. He became... So he started thinking and he said how short-lived the attachment is in the human life. He said, I was deeply attached to my queen and the queen is deeply attached to the staple head and the staple head is deeply attached to the neighbor's wife, and the neighbor's wife had a real love for me. Love does not mean that, you know, you should, uh, you should hug, you should attach. Love is love. It's a care. You, you are in the mode of self-giving. So, you know, his mind started thinking. He left the kingdom. He went to the queen. He said, thank you very much. You taught me a good lesson. Emotional dependence, emotional attachment has no value in life. Then he said to his 
his so-called her soulmate. You know, now in America we use the soulmate and honey. Mm -hmm. Very sad, honey. I'm not angry over you. It's my fault that I was emotionally attached to you. I never cared that you loved the staple head. I should have left you. I should have given you a free pass. But I, I was emotionally attached. That's why I want to keep you in the, in the palace. He went to the forest in a monastery. He met the master. That's what we are learning. He met the master of the Eastern wisdom who taught him the journey to the real self. He realized the real self. He became one of the great masters who wrote the three books. One book that was an emotional freedom. He wrote 100 verses on emotional attachment. How emotional attachment causes stress, causes suffering, causes pain, makes us frustrated, makes us uh, crazy in our life. You want to be crazy, get attached. You want to be in the mood of self-giving. You care. You respect. You love. Love is the mood of self-giving. To your sibling. Okay, let me know how can I take care of you. This is what I want to do. But don't get emotionally attached. Take care of your dad. Take care of your mom. Take care of your friends. No, 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 but how I know that, you know, I'm emotionally attached. When you get upset, when your relationship, when you have an anxiety, when you keep on thinking, when your sleep is disturbed, when your sleep is disturbed. When you have an anxiety, when you have a reaction, when you have mind is restless, they are the indications of emotional attachment. Real love means self giving, attachment means taking. What is taking? Nanny, I don't want, I miss you. But the nanny is missing someone else. That's why she did not come with you. <laughs> Fact, nothing wrong. I'm not criticizing anyone. We are understanding. We are understanding our own mind. So don't get upset. I'm not criticizing your nanny. <laughs> Are you upset? No. no. Yeah. Same thing. We should recognize when my mind gets upset, anxious, restless, disturbed. It is only because of emotional attachment. It is only because of emotional detachment. It is because of emotional bondage that creates a false notion do you believe what i'm teaching you yeah. yeah even if you don't believe you have to contemplate and reflect you have to fire one million questions to me yeah. no i don't believe it uh, you prove it because if we if we externally believe it and internally we don't believe it, we remain emotionally attached, then it will cause a lot of problems. It results into hypocrisy. Okay. 
and moving from the childhood to adolescence. So there are a lot of emotional changes that is taking place at this time. So it is very important for you to understand clear so that your life will always be better, good, affectionate. There was no one to teach me uh, when I was of your age. 15, 16, I started learning at the age of 20, 21. So, another point that is worth understanding. When someone says, I love you, when I say I love you, I have to understand what it means to me and what it means to others when I say I love you. I love you. So behind, inside, is it attachment? How to recognize it is an attachment? My mind has a, is demanding. It has a lot of expectation. So when the mind is demanding, it has a lot of expectations. It is attachment. When that person whom I claim I love does not do the way I want him or her to do, it is an attachment. Every person is free. Are you thinking? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sometimes you don't tell me what is happening in your life. So when the when you understand this, these principles, your mind may start thinking, oh, it is because of this. And your mind becomes free from that emotional attachment. I know sometimes you don't tell me, and you should not, then maybe it's so called private. But I'm entering into that private domain by making you understand these emotions. So that you should think clearly, you should think rightly, you should speak rightly, you should take action rightly. Why? Because your life should be become better. Why? Because you should live your life free from anxiety, delusion, stress, suffering. If you are attached to your phone and it fell down, what happens to your mind, heart? Oh my goodness, what happened? Attachment. <laughs> Attachment. You are attached to your hair, you go to the salon and know what you did. Don't get upset. Be very clear. <laughs> so I don't have enough, you know, going to the saloon, you know, I have long beard, so. <laughs> Are you understanding? Yeah. yeah. We are talking about emotional uh, dependence and emotional freedom. So if you, if in your life at present, if you are undergoing any kind of emotional attachment to anyone, you have to rethink, you have to contemplate and reflect. And if you cannot tell me, you are at liberty to tell me anything. Emotional dependence and emotional freedom.
ED and EF. Emotional dependence, ED. Emotional freedom. Emotional freedom is love. Emotional dependence is craziness. It comes, it goes. You get upset, you feel crazy, you react, you fight. And after a few days, everything comes down. You even don't forget, but you have already done a mistake. You're already suffering. Emotional dependence causes tremendous sense of excitement, loss of energy, extreme fatigue, disturbed sleep. And you might have seen in your in your life what went on. Are you tears? Tears are coming? No, no. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you should be very, my students should be, should live with emotional freedom. Look at the beauty of the knowledge of that Eastern wisdom. So emotional dependence Starts with the reaction, lot of expectations and reaction. It ends with suffering. After a few weeks and months of the suffering, the mind keeps on those impressions of reaction. Oh, you told me this and I told you this. No, you reacted. No, you okay. should say sorry. And then our behavior and attitude undergoes a change. They are very repulsive. You might have noticed. The way your dad used to behave or your mom used to behave and act, they are not the same way. Am I right? Yeah. It causes the emotional dependence. They both are 100% right. I met both of them, they are wonderful people. But because if the emotional dependence covers my intellect, my knowledge, my wisdom, not only this, my young friend, not only this, don't you feel that I was extremely pained when I heard this news? And I asked my mind how it could happen. When couple comes to me, I ask them only one thing, who is wiser of the two? Um. No. no, no. When a couple comes to me for such a problem, I ask them, who is wiser of the two? When they say that we both are wiser, I said, no. There must be some degree. So sometimes the husband says, I am wiser than her. So I said, you change your emotional bondage to emotional freedom. So how to do it? Stop fighting. Start self-giving. It is not possible. I said you are not wiser. If I am wiser, I know that emotional bondage causes this reaction. So let me stop it. Are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. That is how we have to live our life. In future, you may have 
you may you will meet lot of people in relationship lot of people everywhere maybe meeting lot of people in while skiing to prove that i am a wiser means that i first become free from the emotional bondages i was giving an example of another couple but you took it to uh, in your family and you said both are wiser so now you can easily think who is little little more wise than the other who really can think and get rid of the emotional freedom are you getting no, don't tell me you know it we are learning lessons and so i am guiding you emotional freedom emotional bondages we have to live our life with emotional freedom that awakens the love affection care towards others because we have started giving the love is giving attachment is taking attachment is strong expectations love is strong giving caring that changes our behavior that changes our attitude that changes our action in our day to day life when i tell you the life becomes so beautiful even if the world outside is rough do not respond if your mom and dad say say something against but see how you can i told you before also how you can take care of both of them what the dad is missing you do it what the mom is missing if you can do it do it as long as you are with your mom or as long as you are with your dad this is going to help you because you are giving you are taking care you are not caught in the emotional bondages are you getting it yes yeah. and when you are giving you will see the love also will reflect from them i already sent a silent message to you no i told you about my honey you know when she says something i keep quiet when she doesn't say anything i keep quiet so i understand then i contemplate and reflect and understand and then i talk free from the emotional bondages you will not find in any family in any relationship that emotional bondage is not there why they are not learning the eastern western they do not see the difference between an uh, emotional and they do not see the difference between an attachment and and the love so unless we separate it we understand it we clearly we understand now understanding is there so with that understanding you think you speak and you act
the life change. What are you thinking? King has the clarity that he loves his citizens. He was not attached. And because of that love and the self-giving, the neighbor's wife also experienced the same affection and care towards the king. not attachment and that is why you know otherwise he should she should have eaten the apple and should remain young he she told the king that my king you are taking care of all of all of us you are so helpful and kind so what is my life i am living my life for a few years but if you live for many many years you will continue to help the citizens but she never knew that the apple was offered to him by the master it is the same apple What is the message? Another message. You see that very important message. Emotional dependence, emotional attachment is so intense in our mind that that destroys the wisdom, and we keep on thinking that guy, this girl, that woman, that man loves me, but we don't know. We don't know. The king didn't know. King was deeply attached, obsessed with her, with his queen. So in attachment, we anticipate, we think, we imagine that the other is also attached with us. Are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. So tell me, is the, is the king cheated himself or the queen cheated him? Um. King was so much obsessed that, you know, I, king, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has taken for granted. Mm -hmm. He has taken for granted that I'm taking care. I gave a lot of jewelries and I gave her everything all the amenities to live in that state, in the kingdom. So hence, it is taken for granted that the queen loves me, but the queen didn't love. Queen was attached to someone else. So in attachment, these things happen. Are you getting it? Yeah. yeah. In attachment, in attachment, the delusion takes place. What is that delusion? Water in the mirrors. The love, huh? The love of the queen to me is accepted, is taken for granted by the king. It is a delusion. So king cheated himself. We cheat ourselves when we have an emotional bond. Okay, so last question. Do I want to be cheated by myself? <laughs> no. So we should live with the wisdom. I know. Today's lesson is going to 
trigger your intellect to think with whom you are related in your family, outside, in your, with your friends, including your nanny. Attachment and love. No, attachment includes a detachment also, whether we like someone or dislike someone. It mind is triggered with a reaction, with a sense of dependence, with a lot of expectations, with delusion, sometimes with a greed, and sometimes with a pride, and sometimes with a jealousy and a hatred. You have to think, contemplate, reflect, change your mind from emotional ED to EF, emotional dependence to emotional freedom. How? By living your life and understanding it. How to understand it? The moment you are upset, anxious, stressed, sad, it is only because of emotional Freedom or dependence? Dependence? <laughs> yes. When I'm upset, it is because of the emotional dependence. You know, for example, I will never be, but for example, when I say I'm upset with you, what it means? I expected you to do something that you did not do. So that is why I'm upset. So that upset comes from the attachment. You have to think in this way. When you think rightly, in a right manner, you awaken to that wisdom. Life becomes beautiful. It always remains beautiful, my young friend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah.